Hello everyone, welcome to Mastermind. In this video, let us discuss about atmospheric circulation and weather system. So this is very very important because this is a chapter from NCERT itself. NCERT itself. So it is NCERT class 11. So this is the chapter on atmospheric circulation and weather systems. Very very important because a lot of questions in UPSC and in KPSC has been coming from the atmosphere related aspects and also the weather systems as we all know this will be important in our geography part in prelims and also geography part in the mains so let us start this will be part one so let us start from the very basics let us take air and heat it up let us take air and heat the air now what happens when you heat the air when you heat the air let us say that this is the container in which we have air let's say these are the air this is the air so what happens when you heat it up when you heat it up these air molecules so these air molecules which are existing they start to move faster they start to move faster the reason is because they gain kinetic energy they gain kinetic energy they gain kinetic energy see these are the type of topics which is very important for examination because the questions are not coming directly but they will be asking you indirectly for example the heated air has potential energy kinetic energy etc so we have to know that when the air is heated the molecules gain kinetic energy and because of this kinetic energy they start moving they start moving and then they start spreading out because they are moving with a lot of uh, they, they are moving with lot of kinetic energy they start spreading apart so the air as are closely packed in case of in case of the situation when it is cool but when you start heating it up these molecules they start to spread out i guess till here it is very clear as a result of this they evaporate they evaporate so that is the reason why the evaporation of the air uh, why the evaporation takes place in case of water molecules also in case of water molecules i'm talking okay so they evaporate because they start spreading out now let us come back to air so what happens when you uh, when the air is warm they have a lot of kinetic energy they start moving very much fast in in a, in a very much uh, pace so they start moving with very much pace this is by pushing each other apart and as a result of this the same volume of air contains fewer molecules leading to low density very very important low density low density so the same amount of air when it is heated it has kinetic energy and it results in low density now what does this mean this mean that this means that air if it is warm if it is warm it weighs less it weighs less air if it is cold it weighs more it weighs more you can say that so heated air weighs less whereas the co uh, the cold air weighs a little more because of the density the reason here is density the reason here is density and uh, that is affected because of the kinetic kinetic energy which is produced because of the heat because of the heat this is very very basics these are to be remembered because we have to understand in a little more detail as we further progress in this particular chapter we'll try to keep the length of uh, each video up to 10 minutes or 12 minutes so that it is easier for you people also to revise so air when it is heated it warms up and it weighs less the weight is less because of the density of spreading out so the result of this is that what we have seen because they are moving faster other word what we can say to them that is when the air is heated you can also say that they expand correct so air expands when it is heated 
and if that is cold that is cooled as we can see here in the black portion they are condensed correct they are closely packed they are condensed so when the air is warm it weighs less you can also say that it expands because the molecules move further from each other whereas when the air is cool it gets compressed it gets compressed these are two very very important points which you have to remember because in future when we'll be dis discussing about the pressure also it will be helpful for us now continuing from this if it is weighing more it will be on the bottom okay if it is weighing less it will be on top so these are some of the points which is important for us to understand the pressure related aspect of the air now when you are taking let's say a balloon when you are taking let's say a balloon when you start filling air in the balloon it starts to spread across all the region it starts to spread across all the region that is if it is more over here then as you start blowing it starts to fill in to this particular area also it starts to fill in this particular area also this part you just remember because we'll expand on that now let us consider this as earth let us consider this as the earth surface okay we'll call it as surface of earth we'll call it as surface of the earth now because the weight is more the air is here the because the, the weight is more the air is here that means the high pressure the high pressure si uh, system says that air is sinking so if the pressure is high the air will be on the bottom so if the pressure is low it will be on top correct it is low pressure low pressure so the air pressure at the surface is lower than the air pressure in the surrounding area low pressure system are typically associated with rising air so if the pressure is low it rises if the pressure is more it is sinking so these are very important points these are very very important points because when we start reading about this chapter in ncert it says that air expands when it is heated and it gets compressed when it is cooled this results in variation in the atmospheric pressure correct the result is that it causes movement of air correct because there is high pressure and because there is because there is high pressure and because there is low pressure there is movement of this because let us say this is high pressure okay this is high pressure now let us say the earth is warm this gets heated and it rises up correct it gets heated and it rises up because of that what happens there is circulation of air or movement of air so air you have to always remember always remember it moves from high pressure area high pressure area to low pressure area high pressure area to low pressure area for example in this balloon example which we saw air is first filled here there is lot of pressure over here but there is no pressure over here so in order to balance that air moves here and then the balloon fills in like this so balloon fills in like this so that is air moves from high pressure area to low pressure area i guess the basics here are very clear but you have to remember about kinetic energy warm air weighs less cold air weighs more and then the sinking air it is high pressure because of the weight you can consider it as weight and then it rises because when it uh, heated up when it's heated up there is low pressure and it uh, rises because the pressure is less so sinking is high rising is low now we'll start with atmospheric pressure i guess till here it is clear we'll start with atmospheric pressure now now atmospheric pressure the mantra which you have to remember is that air always moves from high pressure to low pressure hp to lp now let us say you are standing over here and here there is a mountain or a hill okay there is a mountain now when you are standing over here you are way comfortable you are way comfortable but as you start climbing the mountain let's say you reach over here most of the times if the 
altitude or the elevation or the height is more at that point of a time you experience breathlessness that is less breath is there there that is there is less oxygen there there is less air there okay so that is because on the top the air is less and because of that you feel breathlessness because if you are if, uh, if you are on the bottom there is lot of air that is what we saw previously on the bottom there is lot of air but as it heats and it goes up it spreads it spreads so it becomes less and hence because there is less oxygen you feel breathlessness on the top so you what is this atmospheric pressure after understanding this we have to understand what is this atmospheric pressure now pressure you can also see it as weight we have seen pressure is a weight that is in this case also if you see the weight is more here but because it is spreading out because it is spreading out the weight is less over here so you can consider this area okay from top to bottom let's say there are lot of clouds over here there are lot of clouds over here let us consider this area so the weight of volume of air contained in this unit area so the weight of volume of air contained in this unit area compared to the sea level it is always calculated from the sea level sea level is you can consider it as base so the weight of column of air contained in a unit area from the sea level to the top of atmosphere to the top of atmosphere is called as atmospheric pressure correct that is what we have seen so if you consider this as unit area then if this is the sea level then whatever is the weight that is the atmospheric pressure now what is the expression uh, uh, or the unit which is used for atmospheric pressure the unit which is used for atmospheric pressure is millibar very important the unit which is used for atmospheric pressure is millibar now what is the atmospheric pressure at sea level the atmospheric pressure at sea level correct most of the times this also they can ask in the examination at sea level it is 1013.2 okay it is 1013.2 mb which is millibar over here it is not megabyte so it is millibar now what we have seen we have seen what exactly is atmospheric pressure that is the weight the weight of the column of air the weight of the column of air contained in a unit area from mean sea level to the top of atmosphere is called as atmospheric pressure now there will be another question why should this air why should this air which we have seen it weighs more it weighs more why because its density is more correct why because it is cooler and they are closely packed closely packed all these are reason but why should it be over here only what is the reason for all of those the most important reason is gravity the most important reason for all of this is gravity okay so at sea level the average atmospheric pressure this is the average atmospheric pressure which is 1013.2 okay 1013.2 millibar now the air at the surface is denser and hence there is high pressure and why is it it is because of the gravity now we are saying about air pressure we are saying about atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is in millibar whereas when you have to calculate air pressure air pressure so this air pressure is measured with the help of barometer 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 is for pressure whereas if you if you have to measure air pressure it is aneroid it's not android you can remember it as android only but it is aneroid barometer okay aneroid barometer aneroid barometer helps you in the measuring of air pressure whereas atmospheric pressure is in millibar air pressure is uh, is also millibar only actually but it is how it is calculated it is with the help of aneroid barometer barometer okay so the pressure this pressure what we have seen let's say this is the pressure what happens as you go up the pressure decreases 
decreases with height the pressure decreases with height so these are some of the very important things which you have seen so from the first if you have to look at then we have to see there is kinetic energy which you have to remember kinetic energy what uh, when it is there when when you heat up the air there is kinetic energy it uh, weighs less weighs less air moves from high pressure area to low pressure area and we have seen how it is uh, in one particular area and that unit you can call it as atmospheric pressure the unit for it is millibar it is measured with the help of anero uh, aneroid barometer and the pressure of the air decreases with the height and as the air heats up it expands so these are the some of the basics which we have discussed in the next video in the next part we'll discuss about the vertical variations of pressure we have seen that uh, it decreases with the height we will see how it decreases and what are the criteria for that we will see how much uh, how much it decreases with uh, every kilometers etc so i hope you have understood about the atmospheric pressure and basics related to the air if you have liked this video you can like uh, you can press the like button and there are multiple choice questions also at the end of the e paper and also there are a lot of multiple choice questions in the e paper as well you can attempt those thank you i'll see you soon in the part 2